Welcome to the Traders Help Desk Online Video Collection. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a chart with the Traders Help Desk Indicators, how to save it as a default, and how to save multiple charts into a workspace. So we are going to begin in the Control Center of Ninja Trader. We will click File, New. We're going to select a chart. And the first thing that I want to do is select the euro. So I'm going to click the dot 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 and then select the 6E which is for the euro. And I'm going to double click it. And then under the interval settings I'm going to do a minute chart. I'm going to select three minutes and for this demonstration I am going to select none that means I'm just going to get a plain chart with price bars click OK now as you can see I now have a chart up that shows the euro 3 minute now what I want to do is right click and then left click on indicators as you can see all of my indicators are listed here I'm going to scroll down to the THD indicators I want to put on the THD ADX I want to put the clipper long the clipper short we want the RSI the trend and the trend SR now these are standard we put them on every single chart we will then click OK now as you can see I have a nice chart that has all of my indicators on there alright so now I'm going to right click and I am going to go down to templates see if we can yes now you can see it and then we're going to select save as default now that we have this chart set up we're going to go back and do another one simply by doing file chart we are again going to select the euro and this time we are going to do a 12 minute and we're going to leave the chart template at default now as you can see everything is already inserted onto the chart so now I have a 3 minute up as well as a 12 minute chart at this point I'm going to go back to the control center I'm going to click file workspace save workspace as and I'm going to give it a name for example E6 click OK click yes and now as you can see I have a workspace that has both the 12 minute and the 3 minute anytime I want to close the workspace I go back to the control center click file workspaces close workspace and that's all there is to it 